Okay, good morning. Today we are going to discuss the inverse Z transform. Uh, as we said, I hope you already feel very comfortable about the inverse Laplace transform. Uh, recall that the Z transform is calculated by the sum uh, n equals negative infinity to positive infinity x n times z to the negative n. And uh, the inverse Laplace tra uh, Z transform, we are going to have uh, several methods. Uh, the first one, okay, inverse Z transform and method one by inspection. Um, oh, first one is a direct calculation. Direct method. The definition once we have this Z transform, the inverse Z transform by definition is uh, one over two pi over j and do the uh, integration along the curve, this one is uh, z to the negative n minus 1 to z. Uh, again, this one is beyond our level, we do not do this, uh, but for completeness, uh, we need this here. Uh, for some uh, uh, weird, uh, special inverse z transform, sometimes we need to go to here, so to everything is just math, you do the integration, then we get it. Uh, in this class, we don't do this. The next one is uh, Inspection, All right, that's very easy to understand. All right, let's test. This one, give us what? Z transform? Uh, that's a one, that's right? A one, yeah. Okay, then let me ask. What is the inverse Z transform of one? That is this, right? So that's the inspection, right? So you need to memorize all these pairs, the tables, and uh, that is one. Another one. What is U A? What do we have U A for? What is Z transform do we have for U A? Z over Z minus one. Uh, well, yes. But we mentioned last time we do not use. You are right. Okay. Z over Z minus one. That is good. Some other reference book use this method, but we don't like use this Z. Instead, we always use Z to the negative one. So how you get this? You divide by Z on the top and the bottom. That is one over one minus Z to the negative. That is in the homework solution I said use this one. We have a reason for that. Huh? I prefer this method, z to negative one. Corresponding in, in the real life, this is delayed by one time. What is z? Z means advanced one time, but we don't use that concept. Huh? So we like z to the negative one. Yes? On the first one, is that 2 pi j? Yeah, 1 over 2 pi j. j is the square root of a negative one. You just write this one for completeness. We don't use this one. You don't even care. Uh, so the uh, unit step gives us uh, 1 over 1 minus z to the negative 1. If I ask you what is the inverse z transform for this, you know at once it is this one, right? And uh, the next one is uh, how about this one? Uh, what is the one, okay, let's do this. One over one plus one third z to the negative one plus one minus half z to the negative one. This. What is the inverse z transform for this one? This is an uh, example we discussed last time for z transform. Right? And uh, this one equals a negative uh, one third n u n and minus half to the n and u negative n minus one. Right? So if I give you this, ask you the inverse z transform, you know that. If I give you the signal like this, ask you the z transform, you know that. So,
So that is not the topic, uh, uh, not the serious topic in Italy. You should know this, how to do this. We don't spend time on it. The next one is called power series expansion. The idea, how you get this method? Remember the UN, look at this. What is the Z transform of the UN? Uh, we already know it was y over, y over 1 minus Z to the negative 1. Uh, but we don't use this method. Uh, this one is in the inspection. I use a definition. So you still remember the definition for this? Directly calculate the Z transform. So that equals uh, xn times z to negative n sum for all time, right? So the first term is 1. The second term is uh, z to the negative 1. The next one is uh, z to the negative 2, and so on. We sum up all this uh, geometric sequence, we get 1 over 1 minus z to the negative 1. We know that, right? Now, we don't use that method. We use power series expansion. Look at this. If I give you this one, that is a power series expansion. What is the Z-transform for this? <coughs> you all look at it. What does that mean? That means uh, this one, right? Means, uh, look at here, the definition is Xn times Z to the negative N. So that is the definition Xz. So when N equals to zero, which is this, this is z to the neg to negative zero. So that means n equals zero. So that means this is x zero. So that gives us the value at the very beginning. So if I draw the signal, right, that is like this. Make sense? That is the first term. How about the second term? z to the negative one. Means the time is one, the value equal to one. Right? Yes, so the time equals 1 here, and the value equals 1. It's good? Right. What's, what does that mean? The time equals uh, 2, good. The value equals uh, 1, good. Okay, perfect. So that's 2, that's 1, like this. Then you can see 3, this. So that is the signal we obtain from here directly. What this signal is? What is this signal? UN, right? So, that's it. That's give us an idea. If I give you any sequence, any Z transform, if you can break it into a power series, you can directly write out the signal. Wow, 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 in this signal. So that is the, the Next, uh, this method, and we are going to use this later time. Huh? Use the examples to show how to do this. The next one is power expansion, ex partial fraction expansion. Huh? Still remember this, right? You know, Laplace transform. If xz is rational, We are going to use this method. Rational means something over something. Right? One polynomial divided by another polynomial. So here, on the numerator of z divided by the denominator of z, if we are given in this form, then we are going to use a partial fraction expansion. Is this true? We know in a Laplace transform, if we're given something like s, s, then we use a partial fraction expansion, right? So that's the same thing. Okay, any questions before we use examples to show step by step how to deal with this inverse Laplace transform? The first one, right? the Z transform equals Z squared 1 minus a quarter Z to the negative 1 and 1 plus Z to the negative 1 and 1 minus Z to the negative 1. 
What I want again, what is the signal? Inverse Z transform. The hint is if you are given the multiplication of polynomials, what we do is we just multiply everything. What do we call that? It's called a uh, multiply everything together. What's it? There's a name, fancy name for that. So we call that convolution. No, not convolution. Mm -hmm. In your middle school, you know, my kids told me some like this. Order operator. Distribution. This, yeah, distribution multiplied together. What's this is called? This is the operation called? Order operation. Foil. 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 Okay, foil, right? Foil, foil right? Mm -hmm. Is that the correct way? Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's foil. Huh? I mean, it's, I guess it's foil. Foil is just multiply everything together. Okay, so let's do it. This one multiply this first. So that is z squared minus a, a quarter of z, yeah. right? Yeah. And then uh, we can do this also with so z minus z to negative 2. Then we multiply this to z squared uh, plus minus 1. And this one minus a quarter z, then minus a quarter z to negative 1. Like this. This is a foil, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I want to make this one to switch the position. Right? So that is z to the 2 minus a quarter z. Minus one, minus a quarter z to the negative one. Uh, I think there's something wrong here. <laughs> this one is hot, supposed to be hot. I don't know why. Let me see. Z squared minus one. Why oh, my result is. Uh, Is this, uh, are you sure this is correct? Uh, quarter, minus one, this is good, this is good, this one. All right, let's see. Let me see my, my this one is correct. Minus this, plus z to the negative one, z negative one. So this time this equals z minus a quarter z, great, good. This one z minus uh, z to the negative two, that is good. And this one times this here, this one times this equals one, this one times this a quarter, this one times this, okay, this is plus uh, here. But in my notes, I said this is a half. This one is here. In my notes, I said this is a half. This is a half. Maybe my type, right? Can you check? Is this good? Foil. The result good? Yeah. Okay, good. Support. So, now, can you tell me what is the xn? Oh, can you draw this? What does that mean? Means when time equals what, the value equals what? Compare with this, uh, uh, the compare with the definition. Means uh, it's almost two. when two or negative two. Negative 2, right? Yeah. yeah? So that means x negative 2 equals what? When negative 2, x negative 2 equals what? Coefficient equals 1, right? Yes? Everyone get it? Alright, what's the next one? What's the next one? What's his next time? For this time. What is the time? Corresponding time? Negative one, right? What is the value? The value is the, the number before, this is, this is power. What is it? Negative 4, right? Okay, negative 1 fourth. 
Right? How about this one? Negative one. What does that mean? That means the time equals what? Zero. But what is that value? Negative one, right? Negative one. Well, what's the next one? What's the next time? One. One. Good. What is that value? One. One. Four. So that's it. That's the inverse Z transform. We know from the Z transform, uh, from the Z, uh, Z transform, we get the time domain value. Right? If I go, step, go further, let you draw the signal. Signal is uh, negative two, negative one, zero, one. So this one is equals one. This one equals uh, negative quarter here, and this one equals negative one here, and this one we equals a quarter here. Right? So this is one. So that is the signal. We rewrite the Z transform in terms of uh, power series. Then. From the power, we can determine the time. From the coefficient, we can determine the value. Then it's easy to get, out, to get the result. OK, next method is the long division. You like long division, right? We did long division before for inverse long, uh, Z, uh, long yeah. transform. <coughs> All right, first of all, we need to have some rules. So how long division works? Uh, that works for rational at z, and let's see how the how this works. For right-handed signal, means yes, the signal goes from somewhere all the way to the right, right-sided sequence. The region of convergence is outside of a circle. We know that, right? Now, what, the, what the, uh, does the Z-transform look like? The Z-transform look like, for example, we start from zero, right? We start from zero here, then Z to the, Z to the what? Z to the zero, right? So Z to the zero. And plus, because the right side is signal, so this one is the first the non-zero initial value, this is the initial value, then the next one will be x1, z to the, to the what? Negative one, right? Definition, then plus x2, z to the? Negative two. Negative two, and so on. Eh? This gives us a hint. It so the hand is if I give we are given this and it is a rational means something numerator divided denominator both are polynomials then I will going to write a b n z to the n plus b n minus one z to the n minus one plus all this b one z plus b zero on the top and on the bottom we have a z to the n plus a a minus one z to the a minus one plus and a one z plus a zero if we are given a rational like this uh, this is given I want you to calculate the inverse transform how are you going to deal with this this is a rational here we are going to use this idea look at it here if we know we can write this one in terms like this we know the inverse z transform, right? x0, x1, x2. So we know that, the coefficient. So we want to write this one 
in this format. Look at what format. Z to the zero, Z to the negative one, ne negative two. So that means I'm going to write like a, the increasing order, order of a Z to the negative one. Or you may prefer the decreasing order of a Z. See? Z zero, Z negative one, Z negative two, negative two, decreasing order of this. I'm going to use the long division to divide to get a value like this. Then the inverse Z transform is trivial. Just I can read it directly. Okay. So that is the, the first one. Eh? Second, for left sided signal, what is the region of convergence? It's the inside of a circle. Then the Z transform will look like uh, the inside of the left side, it means from somewhere all the way to the left. Eh? So that will be equal to, uh, and we don't need to write this one, this is the opposite way. But uh, we are going to bring, break this one in terms of like uh, B0 plus P1Z and plus all the way to Pn, Z to the N. And this is A0 plus A1Z plus something ANZN. Right? I'm going to write this, this one here in terms. This one is a C0 plus a C1Z to the negative 1 plus C2Z to the negative 2 and so on. But this one will be in the opposite order. So that will be C0 plus C1Z to the 1 plus C2, Z to the 2, and plus, so. So we find the method to for long division. Okay? Uh, next one, we are going to use the example to show how to do this. Example, inverse Z transform by long division. The example is uh, xz equals z over z squared minus 2z plus 1, and uh, the region of convergence is greater than 1. Okay, how to do this? We need to determine if this signal is right-sided or left-sided. Can you tell me if this one is right-sided or left-sided? How to determine that? From the region of convergence, right? The region of convergence is inside the circle or outside the circle? Outside the circle. So, look at this. Okay, so that is a right-sided sequence. That means that the signal will be like from here, 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 all the way to the right. We don't have anything on the left. That is the signal, how the signal looks like, based on this region of convergence. So we all need to determine all these values from somewhere all the way to the right. All right we need to use long division. Question is how to do the long division? All right, we are going to use this way, and we find some values like this, some results like this. Right? So the long division is uh, on top must be a decreasing order of z. Okay, we have only one, so that's it. That's z only. So that z over z, that's only one, right? Already in decreasing order. On, on the bottom, that is also decreasing order in the z. So is this good? 
already decreasing order, right? All right, so I just copy this. All right, that's it. So I'm going to use this divided by this. So if it wasn't in decreasing order, you just have to move them. Yes, if I give you anything else, you need to write in this order. So you need to write in this format. Okay. So you just move it around. Yes. Yeah. Right? Because we need to have a decreasing order of z. If you decide if this is the right sided signal, then you need to write in this form. Don't make a mistake. Huh? And also, you need to use this one, divide this. Don't as give you the example, right? Before, don't make a mistake. Not this one divided by this. It's this one divided by this. The long division is uh, okay, let's do this. Z divided by z squared minus 2z plus 1. We consider only the first term here, first term here. Z divided by Z squared, what do we get? Z to the negative 1, right? Yeah. Right. This one is Z to the 1. The next one part will be Z to the 0. The next one will be Z to the negative 1. So I will put a Z to the negative 1 here. That is the Z divided by z to the square. Z over z square. Yeah. So equals z to the negative one, it is here. Right. So that's why you need to have two places. Yeah, we need it because this one is z to the one. This is z to the zero. Yeah. So there's a here, there's a here. So I just need to line this perfectly. Yeah? Just like in the Laplace, inverse Laplace transform. Okay, now we need to use this one to multiply by these three terms. So the first one times this, what is it? Must be z, right? That's we cut out it. The second term is here, so you can see why we have a two species here. So this times this equals uh, what? Negative two. You did the second term. Huh? This term times this, you get this one, right? And the last one is this term times this, so plus z to the negative one. Okay. For you can see this, you can plus some zeros here, right? So you don't need to, but for less chance of a mistake, so I plus some zeros here. Right? So now we subtract. This one is gone. We need to make this gone. And this one here equals a two. And this one will be a minus two minus one. Z to the negative one. Good? Everybody? What's the next one? First term. First term. We only care about the first term. So that will be two divided by z squared. z squared, which equals a 2 z to the negative 2. Yes? Everything this is in the, in, in the lecture notes in, on the website. So you don't need to write everything here. Right? Better way, more efficient way is uh, you look at the board and uh, think actively, and we do this together. So later time, then you can review. Uh, you don't need to copy everything. Because it's, okay. Does it make sense? So that's why we have two. So this negative two, this negative one. So that will be the next next space. So plus two negative two here, right? And the next step is this one multiplied by this polynomial. Then we put here. Then we subtract. Uh, so this time this equals a. Uh, Two, we need to make this two because we will want to make the first term gone. And the second one is this times this, what is it? Minus first term times the first five times this equals two. Then the second term times this equals what? Negative four, yeah, negative four, z to the negative one, right? Yeah. Okay. Then what's next? Two z. Two, 
to the z negative 2. Right? Then we subtract. This one is gone. Need to. This one here, what is it? 3, z to negative 1. Yes, and here, minus 2, z to the negative 2. Right? What's the next step? Okay, we multiply this by this. Consider the first term only. This over this equals what? 3z to the Negative three, right? Negative three, yeah. Alright, so plus, okay, it is right here. We don't need to skip any space. So three, z to the negative three. And uh, this one times this equals uh, three, z to the negative one. This term times this, so minus uh, minus what? Six? Okay, six. Confident, all right? So six, z to the negative two, okay? Negative two, then the last term is just copy three, z to the negative three. All right, then we subtract. In the homework or in the test, you should do this very fast, all right? So it's Follow steps one by one very quick. Right, here, uh, this one is a 4, z to negative 2 minus 3, z to negative 3. So the next one will be 4, z to negative 4, and so on. Okay, so we don't need to do all this. It looks like we cannot finish. It's not terminated somewhere. All right, this result we can imagine 5z to negative 5 plus 6z to negative 6, and so on to infinity. So that means this one just equal to you cause this. This you cause to equal this one. Okay? I will erase all these uh, intermediate steps. Make sense? Alright, so this one will be gone here. That is the power series we want. Now can you tell me what the signal is? What is the signal? Oh yeah, let's see, because this is the right side of the signal. What is the leftmost non-zero value? Negative one. Negative one or uh, the time? When n time equals uh, when time equals what? No, no, no. The, the first non-zero value is uh, when? This one, right? Is this time equals one? This is negative, see, okay. Oh, it's gone, okay, so here. Ne this is time zero, this is negative one here, so that's negative one. That make sense? All right, so that means this give us x, x one equal to one. Yes? All right. What? What's this one? This one means uh, x2. You need to know how to get this 2, right? 2 is from here, right? All right. Next 2 equals what? 2. This 2 is from here, right? And this one will be x equals x what? x3 x three. how we get this 3? it's the power it's the power, the negative n, so n right? and equals what? 3, three. how we get this 3? this 3 is this one, right? okay, so then you can uh, we can make this better so what is xn? Which is going to be 
I want to make this one better, more compact. X and Z the negative one. Is this equals Rn? See? When n equals 1, n equals 1. When n equals 2, n equals 2. When n equals 3, n equals 3. Right? So if I draw this, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, just like 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. That is Rn. Is this good? Question? How we do this? First of all, you need to determine if it's right-sided or left-sided from uh, the center. Right-sided or left-sided? Right-sided. 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 Right
Hmm? Four, yes. I am minus four z. Z what? Three? Okay, then plus two z to the four. Hmm? Then we subtract. First term is gone. Sixth term is uh, what is here? This one is gone. What's this? Okay, 3z, right? Uh, yeah. Don't make make mistake, alright? So minus 2 z to the 4. And what is here? That will be 3z cubed and 3z cubed minus 6z fourth then plus 3z fifth and so on. Alright, so again yeah, you cannot terminate that. Because it's the right side of the signal. Uh, it's, oh, sorry, it's the left side of the signal. So with this signal will all the way goes to the left to infinity. So we get this one. The next one will be a 4z to the 4 plus 5z to the 5 and the plus so on. Does that make sense? Okay, now I remove this. I will just write this one because this. Eh? Everybody get this, right? All right, now tell me what this one is the left the side of the signal to the left. That means we have the right most the time that uh, the signal is not equal to zero. What is that time? This means uh, time equal to what? This term means the time equals what? Zero, right? This means the time equals a one or negative one. Negative one, right? So the first one here is uh, that means x negative one equals a uh, equals one. From here, that means x negative 2 equals 2 and this means x negative 3 equals 3 and so on. So can you tell me what is xn? Huh? This looks like a Rn, right? But you know, all, all the way. So that is R negative. Questions? All right, let me ask. Can you do this by yourself? Huh? Take a while. Uh, now, close your eyes. Can you imagine how to do this? I'll give you a rational Z transform, something over something, and also the radial convergence. What is the step one? Find is the right sided or left sided, right? From the radial convergence. Suppose it is right sided or all. So, what do you do next? You need to do the long division, right? Make sure it's in the right order. And you need to make sure it's in the right order. So this one you don't need to memorize. If you can memorize, that's good. Otherwise, you need to put it in the cheat sheet, right? So if it's right side of the signal, you need to write in a decreasing order of Z. Eh? Then you need to use the long division, and you are going to get the result from those coefficient and those powers. You are going to write directly out the time domain signal. Okay, this is if this is the right side of the signal. If it is the left side of the signal, then you are going to again keep it, uh, make sure you write in the right direct, uh, the order. This will be an uh, increasing order of z, and you do the long division, and uh, again very similar to the right side of the signal, you get the result. 
that is how the steps how you do this so do you feel better so let me ask again can you do this by yourself Possibly, percentage? Yeah, uh, no, yes, the, the procedure takes time. I mean, if I give you a quiz, will you tell me the steps? Can you do it? Yeah. Step one, step two, step three. Yeah. How confident? I can tell you the steps, yeah. Is that 90%? Yeah. No. No? No. What's the percent? 75. 75%. If you bring the cheat sheet like that, can you do correctly? Probably, yeah. Until you get caught up messing up some algorithm. Right? Mm -hmm. Definitely, you need to do the math correctly, right? Don't mess up here. That time is trivial, right? And that's not topic in this class. Okay, now, everybody get a piece of paper. We have a, a quick to do this, right? Again, cheat sheet is here. Everybody just to close your lecture notes and everything. Huh? So only need a, a blank piece of paper. Huh? The cheat sheet is here. Uh, that is, if you go to the test, you bring this with you. Huh? I already write this for you. Okay, now, let's do this. First of all, write your name and your ID on the top. x z equals uh, 1 plus 2 z to the negative 1 over 1 minus 2 z to the negative 1 plus z to the negative 2 What else do you need to know? The region of convergence, right? Yes Z is greater than 1, so that's the first one. The second one is uh, xz equals 1 plus 2z minus 1, 1 minus 2z to the negative 1 plus z to the negative 2. Oh, that's the same, right? So what do you expect here? Less than 1, the original convergence. Okay, now let me break the class into two parts. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Right. Up to this side, line is here. This side to the first one. Oh. Right. This side to the first one. This side to the second. Corey right. and this file. Okay, you do the second. You can discuss. You can work together. Right. Make sure you. Good question. The first one you need to determine is right side or left side. I'm pretty sure it's right side. Chin shade is here. Chin shade A is here. Right? So you decided this is the left or right? It's left. The left side. Uh, right? Left. Left. Okay. So for the, for the second one is left, right? It's being decreased in the world. So you need to write this one in, a, in, this, in this form, then do the long division. Uh, 
Right side is which, which look is at the other chin shape. For left handed so you, so you need to write the Z in what order? So increasing or decreasing? Increasing. The right hand is decreasing. So, the negative power. so you, you check is already in the same thing. Yes, they just do it. Not in the same thing. That's the same thing. That's just a right handed hit, right there. So it needs to be increased. Yeah, it's already So it be negative So for you, you need to be a Z in the uh, here. It's the increasing order, right? You, you need to be in the increasing order. For number one? We number one anymore. Oh, you're number one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you need to be in the. Decrease. For number one, right? That is uh, this one. So you need to have like a decreasing order of Z, right? Is this already decreasing? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right? Easy for you, right? Yeah. You just use this one. Yeah. Which one divide you? Which one? Which one is on the top? This one. This one is on the bottom, right? So you do the long division. Yeah. Oh yes, how about this group? Oh, yeah. Do you need to change the order or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you need to change the order, right? Now I get to do long division. And you need to do the long division, yes. Great. So proficient. Long division. Do you know how to do long division? Nope. Oh. Can I look at this long division? Yeah, great. Everybody needs to be clear of what you are doing, eh? Which step you are on, then you do one by one. <coughs> so two to the negative one divided by z to negative two would just be two by the top of the bottom. Z to negative two. Yeah, this one on the top. This one divided by that. So this on the top is here and divided by the top. Yeah, divided by the top. Okay. okay. When you determine the portion, the portion you only care about the first part. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not only the first time. When you determine the quotient, you only consider the first time, but you still need all the terms. This one divided by this, what do you think? Oh, yeah, I got that right here. 2z, negative 1 divided by oh, 2z, right? No, this term, first term, divided no, by 2. Just 2. Just no, the no, no, two. That's, not, that's, cool. that's, what cool. that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, is it? 2z, negative 1 divided by z, negative 2. Okay, so what is it? Maybe you should not put it here. Because this is a multiplication. This one you should put the result should put on top. You should put this one in your head, not the here. Because you need this space. Okay, so that would be two Two to the two times this to the negative one. Right? You write here. You, you write on the side. Two to the negative one over to the negative two. What is this? Just that's a stress. This is this one divided by this. Divided by this. So what do you get? This one divided by this. Two to the negative three. It's negative one. Negative one. It's a positive one? I guess. Yeah. Okay, so that's two one. So you need to put it here. Right? 
and where would you have this is a this is a C to the negative one. This one is negative one. This is a, so it should be here, right? Why? I'm positive. Because this is negative one. This is zero. Uh, this is a positive one. This is positive one. It should put here, right? Gotcha. Then this one, multiply by all this, we put here, then you subtract. So I'm sort of filling it in this way. Yeah. This one times this equals one. Two Z to the one times Z to the two. So, two that, to so the that's why I say you, you need this space. Two times Z to the negative one. Two times Z to the negative one. Then this term times this equals one. Negative four, right? Negative four. Negative four, that's all. Okay. And there's a plot, minus, right? Just copy this. Okay, so that's one, right? And you subtract, this one should be gone. This one is what? What is it? This is one minus four, one minus the B above. This one here. Minus? Plus two Z, right? Okay, then there's a zero here. That's the next one. You this divide by this, you do this. Alright. Sunday. Yo, go this stuff, right? Did you really mention numerator? Yeah, numerator. Both? Yeah. Everybody is good? No. no? You know how to do it? No? No? <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. How can you say not at all? Uh, do you need to change order? Yeah, that is the 
maybe you want to put some other words from the same time. Generalize what is the sequence is. So you can see it's two, five, eight, and eleven, and so on. So you can write what this sequence is. You need to calculate a little bit. So the first one is two. The second one, okay, when? When this is two? For what time? Next time, next one. That means if you do all this, Good, almost half. You need to still me the, the sequence. But you guys are ninety-five percent correct. That's enough. <laughs> That's enough. <What? laughs> okay, uh, we are going to stop here. Eh? Uh, you need to discuss with your group how to do this. This is important. Uh, if you cannot do this, then you cannot do the homework. You cannot pass the, the test. Eh?